Jamal Finkley with Black Tree TV, and I'm here with, with another new friend, Natalie, all the way from Chicago, here to see this inauguration. Natalie, what does this day mean to you to be here, you know, on the on the cusp of the 44th president being inaugurated? It means so much to me, especially since Obama's from Chicago. It's just awesome to be here and just having a Chicagoan be the president. It's just awesome. So uh, uh, you traveled a long way for this, and 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 Barack has talked a lot about change and everything, but. For us, how do we change stuff in our community? Like, how do you change stuff in your own community in Chicago? Um, in Chicago, we have a lot of volunteer ministries and everything. I actually volunteer with my church, and it's a lot of fun. We work with infants and toddlers, and um, it's through Willow Creek Church. And basically, the volunteering, it's throughout Chicago, through the schools, all the urban schools. We like to, um, I'm from a suburban school, so we like to send prom dresses to the urban schools because we just like to help those less fortunate than us. And now, uh, Barack, uh, we just seen the caravan of cars pulling up. I mean, what's your, what's your feelings inside? Is how's, how's the emotions for you inside as this is about to happen? It's it's awesome. I just <laughs> like I'm getting all teary and everything. It's just amazing. Um, just the first black president. It's it's really hard to explain. It's inexplicable. I'm just so people, excited. I mean, look, all the way back to Washington. It has to be Farther. millions of people here from all different, every nationality, every color. How does it feel just to be in a group of all this love for Obama? It feels amazing, all the diversity. Um, I've always been a fan of diversity, and I just feel like there's a whole bunch of love here, and um, it's just so much fun. Well, well, thank you, Natalie, for taking the time. I'm gonna grab the person making bunny ears behind you. See what? Yeah. How, how you doing, man? Hi, how are you? What's your name? Darlene Cleveland. We're here with Darlene Cleveland, and she seems to be doing pretty. She seems pretty warm out here in the cold. Very warm, very warm as foot. Warm as foot. Where, where are you from, Darlene? I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama. So we have Darlene from the red state of Alabama, all the way up here to support Barack Obama. How does it feel to be amongst this this huge crowd of people? I mean, look, there's millions of people behind yes. you, and and in front of you. Yes. And how does it, what's your feeling today? Words cannot express how I feel. I'm representing five generations from Birmingham, Alabama today. And I just want to thank God for allowing me to see it and to live it and to be a part of this great celebration. Now, I want to ask, the question we've been asking is, how are we going to affect change in our own communities? I mean, Barack is going to do what he can from the White House, and we're going to support him and be supportive of him. But how can we in Birmingham or wherever we're from, how can you make a difference in your community? I'm already making a difference. I uh, mentor the youth. Um, in the Prince George's County Jail here in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And we go um, the second Saturday of every month, and I'm a member of Jericho City of Praise. And we go to the youth unit, and we have Bible study, and we give living skills. Do you hear that? I think Barack's just pulling up. Everybody's excited. The American flags are waving. You see millions of flags. This is a scene that, I mean, you can't explain it. I mean, we try to show it to you here live on Black Tree TV, but just to be here in Philly, it, it, you can't explain it. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Darlene. It's, it's been a pleasure, and uh, we're making history today, you guys. Ciao.